All right. So um, we'll be starting our revision class. And this revision class will be ongoing for two months. Okay. And uh, in these two months, as I said, I cannot fully cover everything uh, in the Perekonan chapters, like for Form 4 and Form 5. Okay, as I said, like if you add up these two Form 4 and Form 5, the chapters in Form 4 and Form 5, there are about um, 9 plus 7, 16 chapters. Okay, of course, 16 chapters is not something that you can cover in not even in one year. Okay, so mm, yeah, that's why um, here is a revision class for you to help you uh, to understand the um, the important stuff, important topic. Okay, of course, other topics are important as well, but here are the more popular ones, and I'll be using some typical questions that uh, the SPM will ask so that you get familiar, familiarized with um, what is going on in the SPM. All right? And for now, you, uh, there is no permission for you to record uh, this session because I'll be recording it. And after that, you will get all this recording in the Google Classroom, which uh, I asked you to fill in, fill up the form in the Google form, right? Yep. So uh, there you will get all the recording uh, for these two months revisions. Is everyone clear? Yes, please give me a yes in the chat box. Okay. All right. So here we go. So can you see the screen? Okay. So uh, this is the file that I've sent to you, uh, titled the revision PDF. Okay, so you can see that here total there are about 10 questions. Okay, so each question is a topic itself, okay? So 10 questions means I'll be covering about 10 topics, okay? Roughly about there. So meaning I, I'm covering about more than half uh, of the syllabus for Form 4 and Form 5, all right? And of course, uh, what I'm teaching here is not the end, okay? I'm giving you the concept of uh, a brief concept of every chapter and for every question. And after that, you have to do more questions. Okay, you have to do more. That is the, the secret to, to score well, to score excellent in your principal account. All right, you just have to. So here I give you the understanding. You understand it. That's why you have to pay attention. All right, you pay attention, you understand it. If you understand, Later, you got recording for it. Then you can watch it back if you miss something here. All right. Then after that is where it starts. Okay. After the class is where it starts. What do I mean? Meaning after the class, you're supposed to do questions. All right. So for example, let's say today, let's say we are discussing about the question one. So question one is actually... We're starting off with uh, question one. So question one is actually from your form four, chapter about four. It's titled as Buku Catatan Pertama. Okay, so here we are discussing on this topic by using this question. So after that, you can look for questions like this chapter. Then you focus on doing questions for this chapter. Then with that, you get to master this chapter. That's why I say principal kind is very easy to master as long as you can understand it. And after that, you go on and practice more on it. 
is everyone following right now? If yes, please give me a F in the chat box for following. Okay, so you have to do questions upon questions. And of course, me, myself, after the class, I will send you something from today onwards, I'll be sending you uh, some past year questions, uh, past year papers, all right? I will send you like set by set. So it can vary from like 2021, not past year question, but like past year trial questions, okay? So there you got like um, 2021 trial questions, 2022 trial questions. So the objective of these trial questions is to let you practice uh, a whole set. And of course, in one set, there's a mixture of different topics and uh, you have to attempt on it. You have to go ahead and try to, uh, to do the questions on yourself. And after that, you get the answer and then you have to check uh, the answer and see where is the, the mistake and how to improve and improvise on it. All right? Is everyone clear for that? If yes, please give me a C in the chat box. Yeah. What about the rest? If you are clear, please type a C in the chat box. So this is what we're going to do for the uh, next two months. Okay, so here you pay attention, follow what I'm doing, get the understanding. And then after that, after the class, you have to do a set of questions. If you can follow exactly what I'm telling you to do, I can guarantee that you, if you have been feeling your, uh, your preconnect, I can guarantee that you can pass your preconnect. And if you've been like getting about B, C plus, B, B minus, B around there, I can guarantee that you can move from that grade to A minus, A or even A plus, provided that you follow 100% uh, on the things that I teach and the things that I ask you to do. Can you promise me to do that? If yes, please give me a P in the chat box for promise. Whereas you know, SPM is around the corner, is actually very fast, time flies. Okay, I think for your SPM, it will be around February, starting in February, right? If I'm not mistaken. So if you start counting from now, that is October, November, December, January, then you start in February, meaning there are about four months for you to prepare for all the subjects in SPM, not only accounting, you got about 10 subjects average, seven to 10 subjects in the SPM. So imagine left with four months, you have to prepare for all the subjects. And if you're still playing right now, I mean, there's no wrong to play, but you have to start getting serious on the preparation for your SPM, okay? That's why here, I give you two months revision class, then I will stop the class by the end of November. I mean, after November, there is no more classes for you for principal account and subject. So meaning on December, January, are uh, all your, on your own. Meaning it's the time for you to focus on your own revision. You, if yeah, not good in Sajara or BM. Please go and, you know, take that two months time because like I'm not teaching you uh, Principal Kanan. You are not uh, attending classes on Tuesday anymore in December, January before you ask them. So you can take this time, utilize it. If you think that your Prekanan is, is still not that good, you can take this time to practice more. And if you think that, okay, you're good enough already, you think that, okay, la, I think I'm okay with this subject already. Then maybe just every week you spend about one hour or if you want, you can do some questions every week if you like. But other than that, you can use your other time to, to do your sajara, to prepare for your mathematics, to, to prepare for your science. Okay, whatever that you think you have no confidence in yet. 
Okay, but make sure that in these two months time when I'm having classes with you, you give your 100%, you attend the class 100%, no skipping the class because it's just these two months, the last two months for you. All right? After that, you don't have to attend any, any classes on Tuesdays anymore with Mr. Wong, no more. Even you want the other. Even you want to pay, no. No class for you. It's just these two months. Is everyone clear? If yes, please give me a two in the chat box. That's why just this final two months. So just um be more patient. Go through these two months of learning accounting with Mr. Wong. After that, yeah, you you double A, go and do whatever you want to do, lah. Okay. If you have a question about Principal Kana, are you okay if we come and find you? Okay, of course, you can text me on WhatsApp if you have any questions or encounter any questions. Uh, but as I always say, when I'm free, I will reply. Okay, but of course, you don't be like a small question then you come and ask me. Lah, okay, make sure you go and find out, like uh, learn from the answer first. And if you really think that, okay, like, you still don't understand. Okay, that's the time you ask me. Okay, don't like a bit, hey, yo, how to do account, uh, I like, I like it you. you don't know, then you come and find me. It's something that I already taught, is written in your nota already, then you make sure you go back and look through your nota, look through the questions that we have done before, and still you don't get it, then yes, come and text me, Mr. Wong. Is that right? Clear? Yes, type a C in the chat box. But again, I don't reply instantly, like, you, you text me, then next few minutes, I reply, no. Okay, because me, myself, I'm studying as well, right? I have a full-time study in the daytime. And in fact, I just finished my class just now. It's just 8 o'clock. Today, I have a 8 a.m. class until 8 p.m. class. Uh, yeah, so I just finished my class just now, rushed to have my meal, and then here I am to, to teach you guys online. Yep. That's why I say sometimes I may take another a day to reply. So just be patient. Okay. I will get back to you. All right. Okay. So now this is question one. As I said, this is from four. Bab five. Bugu Chadan Pertama. And this is a very basic thing. Basic accounting. Okay. Here you have to do Jena Am, Jena Has, and Buku Tunai. All right, but before we start this question, let us have a quick um, recap of what is this Bugu Chatham Pertama. Is that all right? So here I will share the screen with you all. Okay. So can you all see my whiteboard? If yes, please give me a yes in the chat box. All right. So here is the tajuk of Bugu Chatatan. Okay, if you want to write down on your notebook, please do so. All right, sometimes I may be quite fast, then you can just screenshot the whole thing, take a photo of it if you want to. Whatever is convenient to you, as long as it helps, then it's fine. Okay, so this is Buku Chatatan Pertamo, and in Buku Chatatan Pertamo, we can break down to, to a few part. Journal arm. Journal Husk Buku Chatat, eh, sorry, Buku to nine and Buku to nine. So these are the four things. And each of these journal, they have a format for it. That's why I say it's good for you to go back to form four um form four textbook if you have one. Then go go and look for the format. And in fact, those of you that join my uh, Form 4 classes or you have my Form 4 recording, you bought the Form 4 recording, you can, I have nota for you there. 
Okay, you just go into the Google Classroom form four. There are all my uh, nota there and recordings. If you think that this is a chapter that you're not good in, you still can go back there and watch the recordings and follow um, the exercises that I, I did in the class. Okay, so come back to here. So journal arm on itself is one. Then journal has again, they break down to journal Berlin. Journal Jualan. Journal Pulangan Berlian. So you just add a Berlian uh, Pulangan word. So there is a journal Pulangan Jualan as well. Okay, then here are the Two special one, jena penerri maan tunai and jena pembai yaran tunai. You see, so under jena husk, you then break down to six different jena. Jenna Berlin, Jenna Jalan, Pulangan Berlin, Pulangan Jalan, Penerimaan Tunai, and Jenna Pembayaran Tunai. And for your information, I believe that you hardly see these two. You know these two are not very popular. But still, you go to your textbook if you have one, go and find out, or if you have my nota, you go and look for the format for this Jenna Penerimaan Tunai and Pembayaran Tunai. Okay, so, but why do I say that this is not very famous? Maksudnya, you hardly see it in, uh, in any question because usually they combine these two things to become a journal arm. I'm oh, sorry, become a tunu, puku tunai. You get it? That's why usually the soalan, they don't ask you to do these two things. They ask us to do buku tunai because this peneriman tunai dan jenis pembayaran tunai is equal to buku tunai. So when you add these two up, you will get buku tunai. So it's the same thing. Is everyone following? If yes, please give me an F in the chat box. Okay, but of course, to further illustrate, okay, let me see if I have an, a nota with me. Um, four. This is in about four. Okay, let's see. Okay, here you go. Now, you can see that this is the format for journal penerimaan tonight and journal pembayaran tonight. Okay? And... Why do I say that you add this up again, Buku Tunai? It's very simple. Because you see here, you take ini, this part, and this part, you add up, is actually equals to here. So you see, it's actually the same thing. Now, I'll give you 30 seconds to see if it is the same. And maksudnya on the debit side, you know that this is a penerima side, meaning the money comes in. And on the credit side, here is actually the pembayaran. Oh, okay. My screen is still on the whiteboard. Oh, sorry. Is it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, here. Can you all see it now? Yes, please give me a yes in the chat box. Okay, thank you, Ayin. Yeah, so here you can see that this thing is on the debit side, the penerimaan, and this general pembayaran tunai is on the credit side, the pembayaran side. This is actually, buku tunai is the combination of general penerimaan tunai and general pembayaran tunai. That's why, usually when we are doing a question, they will just ask you to do general arm, general has this for, without these two, why? Because we have to do Buku Tunai already. 
is Aaron following? If yes, please give me an F in the chat box. Okay, and so here is the format. You can see this is a nota that uh, for my phone for students. And if you have my recording at the Google Classroom, you have this nota as well. You can go and refer to it if you want to. So you can see that this is what you must have as a, okay, let's start from Jenna Ahn. You must have a tarot, butiran, folio, debit, and credit. But when you come to Jenna Haas, Jenna Haas, you got this Six, right? Jenna has or this four. Jenna Berlin, Jenna Jalan, Jenna Pulangan Berlin, Jenna Pulangan Jalan, right? So here is a bit different. The format, Tarik, Butiran, Folio, the same. But now, instead of debit and credit, they change it to one column, which is Jumla. Same goes for all these things. It's the same. So you just have to change from Berlin to Jalan. From Jalan, you change to Pulangan Berlin and change to Pulangan Jalan. There you go, you get the format for all these things. All right. And for this number document, uh, usually you don't have to write that. But if the question, they give you a number, like a uh, check number, then you have to put it in. So you have to open a column for number document and write down the number. But if the question don't give you any number, then you can skip this part and just write Jumla. Okay, so with all being said, okay, let's um, do the question and see what we get. Okay. So here, take out Inuta and let's do this question together. That's why in this question, they ask us to do journal arm, journal has, tidak termasuk journal penerimaan tunai dan journal pembayaran tunai. They, they told us not to do these two things. Why? Because these two things will be represented inside the buku tonight. You know what I mean? So here will be the journal Berlin, journal Jualan, Pulangan Berlin, and journal Pulangan Jualan. These are the things that uh, you have to prepare for this question. Okay? So now let's go. Okay, before we, we start anything, let's go through the question first. And this is what you have to do. Okay, when you're doing the question, your exam question. Okay, because um, you don't want to be preparing everything. And after that, eh, I miss out something or you don't have enough of spaces for each journal. That's why you have to aga aga know like, oh, how many, uh, what journal do I need? Because sometimes you don't need a journal pulangan berlian. All right, so you have to see, do we have journal pulangan berlian? Do we have journal pulangan jalan? So how do we know that? By going through the, the, the question first, the maklumat. Okay, so here, Encik Raslan memulakan perniagaan. So they just started a business called Zlan Motor Enterprise yang menjual ala ganti motor sika. So this is what they are selling. Ala ganti motor sika. So very simple. Every time when you're looking at a question, you have to know what kind of business are they doing? You have to know that. Why? You will know why later. Okay? But now, let's say that the Alak Gandhi motorcycle is what they sell and what they buy because this is their business. Okay? So here is upper, uh, by the 1st January 2018 dengan SSA Berikut. So, they memulakan perniagaan dengan tunai 800, bank 57,000, you got the parabut. Parabut is furniture, eighteen thousand. Kenderaan, your car for thirty-five thousand. Okay, these are the things that you have to always include inside your journal arm, um, GA. Okay, GA stands for journal arm. Um. Yeah, always a starting the baki uh, per asset asset lah. Uh, by the first January, the baki awal uh, you have to record it in the journal arm. Um. All right, and before that, okay, let's continue um, with this uh, whiteboard, okay? So how do we differentiate which one to use? Which journal to use? Should I use journal arm, journal has, buku tunai, or buku tunai rinci? So the first thing is you have to know. Okay, are you guys following? If yes, please give me an F in the chat box. 
again, F. All right. So the first thing you have to check out is, is this credit atau tunai? Secara tunai. Okay, secara tunai or secara check is the same thing. Okay, are you paying on cash or on credit term? Okay, a lot of students will be confused like, oh, if you boleh beli barang secara credit, maksudnya you juga boleh beli barang secara debit. Bukan. Okay, this is not the debit and credit thing. This credit is a different meaning. Just like um, there's something that has different meanings. There's some words that have different meaning, isn't it? So um, what I'm trying to say, just like run. Okay, this English word run. If I say, I, I run for five kilometer. Maksudnya, I lari ya. Okay, I'm actually running for five kilometer distance. Okay, what if I say, I run a business. Eh, are you saying that I'm a student lari? Uh in a business, it doesn't mean that way. Is This run has a different meaning now in a different sentence. So this, I run a business meaning I'm operating. I have my own business and I run it myself. Do you get what I mean? If yes, please give me a yes in the chat box. So what I'm trying to say here is that a, a word, okay, you all know that, right? You understand what I'm trying to say, right? So a word has a different meaning sometimes. Okay, so same comes to this credit. Okay, in this beli secara credit, menjual secara credit, this credit word is different from the one I say debit and credit. Debit credit means in and out, as I always say. But this secara credit is a different thing, secara credit. Okay, yes, secara credit means secara hutang. That's what it means here, secara hutang. Okay, so whenever you want to buy thing, you beli barang ke, you jual barang ke, you got two methods. Either secara credit atau secara tunai. So secara tunai can be secara tunai atau secara check. It's the same thing as well. Alright, so now very simple. Whenever you see the beli barang atau menjual barang secara tunai dan check is always in buku tunai. Okay, whenever you see secara tunai, secara cek, eh, you tahu, masuk buku tunai. Alright, then what about buku tunai runcit? Yes, buku tunai runcit, same thing. Whenever there is tunai or secara cek, you masuk buku tunai runcit as well. But, this buku tunai runcit is amount yang kecil. It's about 10 bucks, $20, $50. All this small, small amount you will be recorded in the buku tunai runjit. But all this like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 10,000, all this like, you know, very big amount will be under buku tunai runjit. But also depends on the questions. Usually question asks you to do this three. Okay? But sometimes they'll ask you to do buku tunai runcit and then you have to do this buku tunai runcit lah. Alright? So, maksudnya, for jurna am dan jurna has will be secara kredit. Alright? And now, you ask yourself, when do I, so let's say it's secara kredit, then, when do I use general am and when do I use general has? Very simple. When it is about your business, you record in general has. When it is non-business related, then you put into general am. For example, you believe Barang niaga secara credit. So the first thing you ask yourself, is this a charter credit or secara tunai? Secara credit. So if you know this is a charter credit, you know that this is into a journal. 
J jenna. So now you ask yourself, is it a jenna arm or jenna husk? So you beli apa? You beli barang niaga. Barang niaga is something about your business. Okay? So if it's related to business, meaning you buy and sell your whatever that is uh, related to your business, then it is you beli my right. I mean like first, it is into jenna husk. And because you beli, beli is the word for jenna belian. Can you see? Okay, the same thing. Let's say you beli kenderaan secara kredit. Now, you beli secara kredit. Memang is general ready. Okay, now what are you buying? Are you buying your barang niaga or other things? If you buy kenderaan, kenderaan bukan you, your barang niaga. Maksudnya is non-business related. This will be in your journal. Um, are you following? If yes, please give me a one in the chat box. You see, so it's actually very simple. It's like straightforward. If this keyword, you know is this one. If this keyword, you know is another one. Okay, again, uh, same concept. You, let's say now I, I beli, uh, the word beli. Now let's say I beli barang niaga. But now I change the word to secara check, for example. Now, whenever you see the word secara check, straight away, you know, this is entered into your buku tunai. It's just that simple. Can you see? So it's either in or out. Is it on the debit or credit side? So you have to ask yourself, when you beli barang niaga, you buy thing, you buy, your money will go out. If your money go out, out means credit. Therefore, in your buku tunai, is on the credit side. Later, you will see all this example. So here, I'm showing you how um, to categorize all these things and from the keyword, you know which buku catatan pertama to use. Okay, is everyone clear so far? If yes, please give me a C in the chat box. So I want you to understand this thing so that um, you, you don't have to come back to this thing again. Okay, and I'm not planning to do it anyways. So this is one time off. Okay, after I explain all these things, I will not come back again. So make sure you die, die also understand this part for yourself. Okay, so now after knowing this part, let's now go into the example. Okay, let's apply it. All right. So, and other than the non business thing, all this baki awal, all the number here, put into your general arm as well. Okay, so now let's start from this first one January 2nd. You, okay, let's highlight all the keywords. Okay, you beli computer dengan check. So whenever you see the word check, where do we record now? We know that we straight away can record into the thing called buku. Oops. Yeah. It's loading. Give me a second. Okay. So you when you believe in and check, but you go into your buku. Okay, then. Right, that's why the word tonight that check is always kaitan dengan tonight. Okay, just add this into your account bank. Lah. Alright, so now this buku, okay, tonight is tonight. Tonight is into account tonight. That's how you got tonight and bank. Alright, so check will enter into your account bank. That's how you differentiate. But both of these is you pay now. For credit is like secara hutang maksudnya you let's say you beli barang yang you beli kasut secara credit you buy shoes secara credit maksudnya you take the shoes now but you pay later later that's why it's a hutang okay but if secara tunai other check is like you get the shoes now you pay now so the word is now and later that's why you got now is tunai check later is secara credit. All right. Okay. Now, is it on the debit or credit side for your buku tonight? So you beli. Beli means you buy thing. When you buy thing, your money will go out. 
Do you agree? If yes, please give me a A in the chat box. I want you to agree on this thing. Okay, when you buy anything, let's say you go to the canteen, you buy food, you cannot get the food for free. Yes, the food comes in, you debit the food, you debit your stomach, but what actually goes out? Your money goes out. That's your tuna, your cash. That's why same goes to here. When you burly computer, okay, you have to, your, your money has to go out. If your money goes out, out means credit. So I put a K here on the credit side. All right. So now number five, you keluarkan wang daripada bank untuk kegunaan penegan. Okay. So here, you kaitan dengan wang mah dan bank mah. So this is recorded in your buku tuna as well. This is a yeah. I will show you later, but. Okay, this will be on the debit and credit side. You understand later, I will explain to you. Okay, number five, I'm sorry, number eight. You beli, belian means bal, uh, belian barang niaga. Okay, secara credit. Nah, secara credit, you sure we know this is a journal. Correct Now, you ask yourself, is it a journal arm or journal has? You beli apa? You beli barang niaga. So, barang niaga is a keyword. So, if you buy your business thing, barang niaga, and you, maksud is the jenna khas. Fair enough. So, under jenna khas, you got jenna belian, jenna jalan, pulangan belian, pulangan jalan. So, which one is it? You beli mah. So, this is a jenna belian, JB. Okay, again. Then, you menerima nota credit daripada jona trading kerana barang yang rosak dipulangkan. Okay, here. This is a, a document, not a credit. Okay, so I want you to write down on one side. And then we see not a credit. Remember this way. K. Okay, K will be P. Just like your number card pengenalan. Your IC number, called KP, right? Number KP in BM. So, you just remember P. So now, what does this P stand for? P stand for pulangan. So whenever you see a nota credit, you know that this is a pulangan. Right? Now, you know that in the journal, we got journal pulangan Berlin and journal pulangan journal. So you ask yourself a question. Which one is this? It can be a journal pulangan Berlin and journal pulangan journal. So here, you receive, you menerima nota credit daripada jona, uh, sorry, sorry, daripada jona trading. So if you terima nota credit, maksudnya, we are the one that buy thing. Let me repeat it again. So when you see the word terima, maksudnya kita beli. Okay, I give. This is a concept, ah. You have to, you have to um understand it, or else this is a thing that you cannot memorize. You have to understand it. Okay. For example, let's all let's all of us let. Let all of us imagine that now we're in McDonald's. I'm sorry if you're a vegan or whatever, but this is just an example. Okay, let's say you're going into McDonald's now. Imagine now all of us, we're going into McDonald's. And then we want to buy mix and match, for example. And it is RM7 ringgit. About that, lah, okay? Okay, so now you go in, you want to buy, you not beli, the keyword here is beli, mix, and match. Okay, so now, what, after you not beli, the next thing is you, buy. Right, because you want to beli, you buy, like you have to pay 7 ringgit, and then, okay, on the counter there, now you use kiosk, right? Okay, so let's say you use Touch and go e-wallet 
or uh, your your card, credit card, you know, whatever payment, Shopee Pay. Okay, you scan there, you pay, you buy. Uh. After that, what do you get before you go and collect your meal? A bill. What do you get? You the reamer? Receipt. Am I right? Yes, Eugene. Receipt. That's where your form for but three comes in. Document. There you learn about why we need all this document. Okay, but th that's not today's topic. Okay, so now you can see that you, if you are a buyer, whenever we beli barang, kita yang terima either receipt or other document. So in other words, if you draw barang, okay, draw barang yang membeli kan dokumen atau menghantar dokumen do you get this concept if yes please give me a yes in the chat box yes type yes in the chat box so this is whatever this is your life um experience right like when I'm not only about McDonald's, uh, anywhere, uh, you go Tesco, you go Giant, you grocery, okay? You pay for the thing, then am I the one that give the receipt? No, it's Tesco that give us the receipt because we are the consumer, we are the buyer, okay? So come back to this question, you saw that kita terima receipt, so if you have to work back, if kita yang terima receipt, maksudnya kita before we terima receipt, we pay for it. Okay, kita yang terima uh, nota credit. So, kita yang terima nota credit, maksudnya before that, we actually buy something. And now they issue us a nota credit. So, come back to here. So here, you see that the keyword here is menerima. That's why I say whenever you see the word menerima, maksudnya before the beli. And if you link from back to question uh, number 8, you can see that actually, kita yang membeli barang niaga daripada Jonah Trading. It's the same. Jonah Trading. You see now? Alright. And this number credit will be issued, for example, apabila you ada barang yang rosak. Let's say you go to Tesco, you buy a shirt, okay, you pay already, and then you go back and find out that, hey, how come the shirt got a hole behind? Okay, there is a hole behind, so the rosa. So the next day, you go back to the Tesco, you return the shirt to, to Tesco, and then now the Tesco will issue nota credit to you. So from our side, we will be the one that terima nota credit. Alright, so here we know that this is a Berlin before that. So, this will be entering into the journal Pulangan Berlin. Is everyone clear? If yes, please give me a C in the chat box. Okay, make sure you're following because the examples that I'm giving is um, to help you understand um, the concept here. Okay, so let's continue on 15. You mengambil barang niaga. Okay, usually people see the word mengambil, you think that this is ambilan. Okay, but you have to look at the last one. For what? Untuk tujuan apa? Okay, it's time to write down something again. Okay, so let's say whenever kita mengambil, you have to see untuk apa. So it can be untuk promosi. Then the account that you'll be recording will be account promosi. But if you say mengambil untuk kegunaan sendiri for yourself, this is the keyword kegunaan sendiri, then this is 
and account ambilan. Kegunaan sendiri untuk anak-anak sendiri, untuk sewa peribadi. You know, everything that is berkaitan dengan the keyword sendiri. Your own use. If it's for your own use, then it is an ambulan. Okay? But either of these things, whenever you see the word mengambil for promosi or kehuna sendiri, is all recorded under the word jenaam. Why? Ada berkaitan dengan tunai tak? Tak ada. So, definitely bukan pukul tunai. Ada berkaitan dengan your barang niaga tak? Yes, ada. But is it beli? Is it jual? Is it pulangan, belian? Pulangan, jualan? You ambil, you think? Is it beli or jual? What? Bukan juga. So, only left with jenaam. So, jenaam is a place that you record either promosi or ambilan. Alright. So, come back to here. So, this mengambil barang niaga untuk tujuan promosi will be in a jenaam. Okay, now we go on to 17. Jual barang niaga. Secara kredit. Secara kredit, we know is a jenaam. So, you, it is a barang niaga. So, it is a jenaam khas. So, under jenaam khas, you jual. So, this is a jenaam jual. Can you see? So, are, are you guys following? Is it clear to you now? If yes, please give me a one in the chat box. Can you now see like, oh, so this is actually how you do it. You just straight to the keyword. The keyword is the point. All right? You don't have to, wow, how are you read and then you ting, 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 ting. No, you don't have to do that. You just look for the keyword, then settle, move on. Okay, now, you buy a belanja utility dengan tunai. You know where to record it, right? Buku tunai. Okay, you buy a, buy a means your money go up. Money goes up, out means credit. So it's on the credit side. Okay, 22. Berlian barang niaga secara kredit again. Secara kredit is journal. Barang niaga maksud is under the journal khas. So is it the journal Berlian? Journal journal. So I tell you is Berlian now, right? So this is journal Berlian. Okay, again. 24. Menghantar nota debit. Okay, so there is a nota credit. There is a nota debit as well. Now, for... Nota credit, I told you whenever you see the K word, remember the P. KP means for pulangan. Okay. Now for nota debit. It's just either two. Journal belian or journal jualan. It's just that simple. Okay. So it's credit, then pulangan. If nota debit, then it's just as usual. Either journal belian or journal why? Because they usually give you another debit when there is kurang charge. So now they want to charge more. Alright? So you see, siapa yang menhantar? Kita yang menhantar. So now, remember the, 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 the example that I give it to you? So when you send out, when you're the one that give out document, maksudnya, we are actually the seller. You must be the seller to hantar document. Alright, you buy it, you beli, then you menerima ma, document. Now you sell, you jual, maksudnya you have to menghantar document tu. Maksudnya, this will be a journal jualan. You record under journal jualan. Okay, 26, membayar semua hutang dengan check. Check, keyword for buku tunai, you buy it. Means money goes out. Out means credit. Okay, comes uh, for 22. Isn't it supposed to be journal journal because it is a Berlin from another business to us? So we draw something to a customer. Huh? 
No, you just, whenever you see, you just look for the keyword from our site. Whenever you're recording, you record from our site. All right? So, for example, for 22nd, you Berlian Barang Niaga. Berlian, actually, they're just being fancy. It's actually Berli Barang Niaga daripada Penegang Semarak. Semarak. So, whenever you see the word keyword Berlian, Berli, this is a general Berlian. You don't have to think twice. Okay, you don't have to confuse yourself. It's just straightforward. Jualan maksud you jual. Berlin means beli. The, the problem that a lot of students, they're confusing. They're just, they are making things complicated by themselves. They overthink. Okay, this is not how you do accounting. Accounting is actually really straightforward. When they say beli, Berlin lah. When they say jual, you jual lah. You jangan or think that, oh, I buy and then I sell to other things. When they sell, they will tell you they sell. When they buy, they'll tell you they buy. Okay, so you don't complicate things yourself. All right, so 37th. You menerima bayaran penuh hutang daripada kedai Fiji secara uh, setelah memberi discount 210. So this is actually you menerima bayaran penuh hutang. So you actually, you receive money from kedai Fiji. So this is actually a buku tunai. Okay, you menerima. So, menerima means money comes in. In means debit. This should be on the debit side of your buku tonight. Then, 28. You keluarkan check untuk bayaran insurance hired per everybody. So, here, check, meaning I have to record in buku tonight. You keluarkan means you pay lah. Okay, so you have to pay for your insurance credit. But at the same time, because this is check your, the money for yourself, the word keyword per everybody is actually same as Sandiri, just as I said just now. So this is actually an ambulance also. So if it's an ambulance, you have to record in general. So for this case, you have to record in two parts. For tadi, this is just barang yaga, then uh, it's here. But then if you see there is a check bergantung dengan buku tunai, and also peribadi, then you have to record for two part. Alright? Then 29th, you menerima commission dengan tunai. Keyword for buku tunai. And you terima commission. You receive money. Money comes in. In means debit. And then you buy a gaji dengan check. Check is a keyword for buku tunai. You pay. Money goes out. Out means credit. That's it. So after knowing this thing, you can see that we will need Jena Berlian, Jena Am, Jena Jalan, Jena Pulangan uh, Berlian. Maksudnya, we don't need a Jena Pulangan Jalan. That's, it. That's why I say it's best that you go through the maklumat first, then you write down what you need, then only you start doing out the Jena. Okay, is everyone following so far? If yes, please give me an F in the chat box. So now let's start. Um, a Jenna Am. So got Dari. So just follow the formula. I mean, sorry, the format. Dari, good, run. Folio. Then this is journal arm. That's why there is a debit and credit. Enjoy the line. Okay, so after all this um title, you must have the year for under the tarot. So we are actually doing for year 2018. 
All right, first January twenty eighteen means uh on ten year twenty eighteen, and then under the debit and credit, you got the ringgit Malaysia. This is the currency that you must have. Is in accordance uh with your uh format. All right, okay, then we will be going according to the date so that you don't skip anything okay so now let's start from the first january this is the baki all right so here very simple you just put the month january one and then see you got the two line you got the bank you got the parabot you got the kandaran so all these things are asset 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 and one thing you must know about this abalim a stand for what you should know it by now asset b stand for belanja a stand for abilan L stands for liability, H stands for hasil, M stands for modaf. So what is, what is this for? You can see that this is actually a T. Oxygen here is the debit side, here is the credit side. So all these two nine bank parable can run are asset. So if they're asset, you can see the asset is on the debit side. That's why all this figure will be on the debit side. So start off with the 29, 800, bank 57,000, Parabot 18,000, turn around 35,000. Okay, if there is a liability, let's say there is a uh, account balloon buyer is a liability. So liability should be on the credit side. Now, after this, not done yet. You have to know that for journal arm, the debit and credit side must be the same. Must be inbound. But here, you add up how much you get. So you skip a line. And you add up here. You get this amount. So here, you skip a line. Then you draw one line, double line. So, the debit and credit must be the same, the Joomla, just like uh, whenever you're doing your account or ledger, this must be the same. So, here, this empty part will be this amount as well. And what is this in the credit side? It's actually our model. And make sure you skip a, a space of your thumb. Okay, just like when you're writing a karangan in the beginning of the paragraph, you skip a space so like that to show the people that this is actually a credit model is in the credit side. Okay, and you look at this abalim, you find that model is actually on the right side on the credit side, which is in line, match with uh what we're doing here. Okay, so this is what you have to do whenever. In the beginning so sometimes they won't give you model sometimes they would so you have to see if they don't give you you have to find out yourself like what we did here but sometimes if they give it to you then simple you just copy here into it is everyone okay with it if yes please give me an okay in the chat box so this is the first thing you have to do but of course not done yet you have to write a keterangan meaning a penjelasan, something like that. You have to show people what is this actually. Uh, this is actually memulakan perniagaan pada tarik ini. So this is what happened here. You can see that dia memulakan perniagaan pada 1st January 2018. So I just copy it down. Memulakan perniagaan pada tarik ini. That's it. Then you skip a line, then draw a straight line like that. Okay. 
okay then you should be skipping some some lines because you're not sure what uh, do you need here of course you have written now if you want you can go through but you don't have to waste your time so you just I gotta, I gotta skip about 10 lines one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then you start off with the next one so on um january 2nd okay so we have a buku tonight all right so but before that let's start with right now on the general first so we got general berlin okay so general berlin you just put a tari um butiran folio and as i show you just now for all these general berlin general has they just have a Joomla, all right? Then, same thing, show the line. So it's aga-aga. So same thing, 2018. Joomla. So skip about, give yourself seven to eight lines, okay? Then, journal, Jalan. Same thing again, Tarik, Bukti Run, Polio, and Chumla. Okay, then again about six to seven lines up to you. I got, I got Okay, make sure that you the the spaces that you leave is more than the bujangs because you don't want to like be too near. Nanti you are not enough of spaces and not enough to write for other stuff for. Then how you have to erase it? How do you erase? You're using pen when you're doing for your uh accounting in the SPM. So you cannot tuck in again correction tape or liquid paper it, right? So best thing is to leave sufficient spaces, significant space, enough, more than enough for uh every part. So that you can you don't need to like, oh shit, what 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 to do now? Because you don't have enough spaces, you don't have, to have that kind of panic during your uh during your exam. Okay. So you skip out there, then you go on to your journal. Here we go, journal Pulangan Berlin. As we saw just now, JPB, this one. So I think journal Pulangan Berlin, all this Pulangan usually has a very little transaction. So like for this question, only got one. So you can just leave about three lines like that. Lah. Okay, don't need to be more. Lah. Okay, then is your buku tunai, uh, buku tunai. All right, let's see how we're gonna do this buku tunai. So, Pugu Tunai start with the debit side, Tarik, Butiran. Um, here is a folio. And after that is your discount. Discount D. The. No. Dippery. And then here is your. To nine, and then here is your bank. 
these are what you need uh, for a bank. Yeah. So I'm using an Excel, so I have to like get neat. Yeah, that should be fine. Hold on, eh? What just do it on the part? Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll just do it here. Is it okay? So then you do a same thing on the credit side, All right? The rate boot. Do I discount the value? Bank this on the debit side and then go to your credit side, same thing, direct put do run folio. And discount this is discount D trimmer. So that same thing to nine and bank. Okay, something like that. Oh, discount D trimmer two nine bank. Okay, and for this bank, is sorry, Google to nine. Make sure you put in this thing. You see the two nine bank, Baki Awa. Right, you have to throw it in as well. So um 2018. Bring it Malaysia, bring it Malaysia, bring it Malaysia. 2018. Bring it Malaysia, bring it Malaysia, bring it Malaysia. Okay, I hope you guys can see it this way. All right. So um Baki Awam on the January 1. So this is Baki Awam Baki BB. And then the discount delivery note. So you see the, this part to nine. The same thing as this one. You put in eight hundred. This is the money that you have the account have in the beginning. Uh, on the day January first. Then for the bank is fifty seven thousand. Like that. Okay. Make sure you have trade this part. Okay. Then after that, okay. Continue. What do we left? Okay. Yeah. On this January 2nd, right? My Burley computer, I said put it into Buku tonight because it's Burley, so it's on the credit side. I put a K, so very simple January 2nd. So, this one you what you buy, you buy computer, so you don't have the, the account computer. What account do you have? We have account Alatan Pajapat. Okay, come when you come to accounting, you have to be specific, and you cannot, um, 
you have to use the accounting term for everything. So here, for example, when there's a computer, there is no account, account computer. You have to put it into the so-called account alatan pejabat. Because computer is the alatan pejabat. All right. So how much? 3650 we check. I told you just now, whenever it's a check, check is the same thing as in the account bank. So in the account bank here, under this column, we put in 3650. Are you all okay with January 2nd? If yes, please type 2 in the chat box. If you're okay, type 2 in the chat box. Okay, so it's just that simple. So this part is re already given you like the guideline. Buku tunai, which side? Credit side. So buku tunai, credit side. And then here, you write the things that you buy. So let's say you buy computer. So under here, you put the booty run and then how much. Okay, so the same goes to the rest as well. Okay, now done for January 2. Now go to the 5th. Uh, mengeluarkan wang. So same thing, mengeluarkan wang. Buku tunai. Uh, okay, now this part, you see, uh, dia keluar wang daripada bank untuk kegunaan perniagaan. Okay, so this is basically mengeluar wang daripada bank. Maksudnya, the money from bank is withdraw out, become cash. How many of you went to an ATM machine before? This is something like an ATM machine. You go to the ATM machine, you put in your debit card, okay, and then you type your PIN code, and then you say you want to withdraw 50 bucks, for example. So when you type the 50 bucks, then the ATM machine out, then you got 50 bucks from the machine. So this is the same example where they say mengeluarkan wang daripada bank. So the money is being transferred like that. And we I got a I got a term for this, which I call a, a T B is sorry. A B T T B. B T T B. Maksudnya, the money is transferring in the form of into a form of two nine. Okay, let's say if you go to a cash deposit machine, if you've been there before, you want to deposit money into your bank account. You want to deposit cash into your bank account. Now, this thing I call it as a TBB. Because now the money is safe in the form of bank instead of 29. Are you guys following? If yes, please give me an F in the chat box. So you have to see which one is it. Are you withdrawing money out from the bank account or are you putting money into your bank? You see? So in this case, you actually withdraw money. You can do it. So meaning you are trying, you are, the money is actually becoming in the form of two nine. That's why it's called B T T B. So the T T is in the middle. Now the money is in, in the form of two nine. If you are putting money into the bank account, then it's called T B B T. Meaning the money now is inside the bank. You see. So why do we need this P T T B or T B B T? Very simple. So let's come back to this case. This case is a. A BTTB. So when we are recording in the buku tunai, by the way, this is on the fifth. Okay. So let's say on the fifth, this is a BTTB. So you start from the B. B stands for bank. All right, that's the first B. Then T. You go to the 29 column. T stands for 29 column here. Type in the figure. 1,500. Okay, so B, T, 
Then the next T will be the 2 9 on the credit side here, 2 9. And then the last B is the bank under the bank column. We write back the same figure, 1,500. So this is actually a contra. So under the follow here, folio here, you can put a K here. K stands for contra. Maksudnya, you do, your money is not going out. You just like, you go to withdraw money. So your money is still inside the business. Do you get what I mean? If yes, please give me a 5 in the chat box. So this is an example of contra. So whenever you see a contra, you have to know, is it a BTTB or TBBT? So TBBT will be different. It's just a uh, reverse. So start from T will be 2 9. Maksudnya, you put money into the bank account. So 2 9 will go into your bank here, the figure. And then T, B, here will be B, B will be bank. And then after that, under 2 9 here, you put the figure. So this is a contract. All right? So I don't really understand the concept for T, B, B, T. I just said the TBBT. So it's just a reverse. Okay. So basically, this BTTB and TBBT, just like that. TBBT and BTTB. You just look at this thing. Okay. Because this is money. Money can be in, in the bank or money can be on your hand, your cash. To nine cash. But nowadays, most of our money is in the bank, in the e-wallet. It's not in the form of cash. Cash is your cash. Lah. Okay? For example, cash. This is cash. So how do I get this cash? I go to the bank and withdraw money. Let's say today I withdraw money. So I get cash. So just like this question. This question is, you keluarkan wang dari the bank. So now, you ask yourself this question. What is this money? This money is in the form of bank or in the form of tunai. So the answer is actually you go and withdraw money. Now I have this tunai. So the money is in the form of tunai. So you look at this middle part. You be tunai means this T stands for tunai. Maksudnya is B, T, T, B. So you go to your buku tunai and then you follow this, uh, this sequence and record. Okay, let's see now. I want to put this 50 ringgit into my bank account. So I have to go to the bank, go to the machine and put into the machine. So now my money, this 50 ringgit, I don't have this paper anymore, right? The 50 ringgit will be inside my bank account. So that will be when, like that lah. So now the 50 ringgit is in my bank account. If that's the case, then it's a T B B T. Then just record according to TBBT. So it's a reverse. It's either you withdraw money or you put money in. So depends on if you withdraw money, it's this one, BTDB. If you put money into the bank, into the bank, so it will be BB. All right. So come back to here. So that's how we record for this part. Okay. And then after that, the next one is number eight. You beli barang niaga secara kredit. So, this is a general balan. So, you just go to your general balan. On January 8. So, you beli daripada siapa? So, they always give you the name. Jonah Trading. So, you just write Jonah Trading. How much? Um, 3540. Okay, done. This is very simple. Just write the name of the, the fellow that you buy from. Okay. Then 10, general pulangan belian. Okay, general pulangan belian. So, same thing. We put in the year. We get Malaysia. Then, this is January 10. You pulang kepada siapa? Pulang. Uh, you terima another credit daripada journal trading. So, you write the name journal trading. How much? 
So you just show in the figure. Done. You see? So it's just very simple. General arm. Okay, so you just go to general arm. January 15. So what is this for? I told you this is for a to jump promo C. So this Baron Yager is actually going into for promo C purpose. So you debit your promo C, account promo C. And then because you take from the Baron Yager, ma, right? You unbuild Baron Yager, it means your Baron Yager go out from your billion. So here you have to credit your billion. So here is 996 on the debit side, on the credit side is 996 or so. Okay. But for this part, you don't need to Joomla. Don't need to Joomla. Okay, this Joomla is only for this first part. Whenever you have Baki, Awa, and so on. All right? So here you just write, Meng Ambil, Barang, Niaga, Untuk, Promosi. That's it. Okay, next, after 15, 17, gender jualan. So you just go to the gender jualan. Okay, do the same thing. Then, to separate kedai fizik. So you just write, and on which date is on 17. Kedai fizik. 4635. Then, this one is Buku Tunai, Membaya Belanja Utility. So, I already said you buy, your money goes out on the credit side. So, on the credit side here, when 20th, for what? Utility. So, here, whenever you see the Belanja Utility, you don't write this term. You have to throw into Kada Bayaran. Okay? It's the it's already fixed. Huh? So, whenever you see Utility, Electricity, uh. View IA, view telephone, everything is under Kada Bayer. All these things that I mentioned just now. The Kada Bayer, so you're using what? 29. So under the 29 column, you put 505 is the amount. Okay, then 22nd is Jenner Berlin. So Jenner Berlin, 22nd. Um, you beli barang niaga daripada perniagaan semarak. Just write down all the name after you knowing where to put it in. That's why uh, I did this beforehand so that now you can straight away throw in. You don't need to think a way to put it again. Alright, so like 24th, Jenny Jordan. Okay, so here 24th. Um, Kebada, Kedai, you just have to find out the name, Fizi, and then another, the current charge is 515, so now you have to charge back to 515. Okay, then 26, Buku Tunai, credit side. Okay, you go to Buku Tunai, 26, on the credit side. Then, you buy semua hutang dengan check Kebada, Jona Trading. So here, to Jona trading. So charity check check is on the bank of um, semua hutang. Okay, so you have to find out how much is the hutang to Jona trading. So I hutang Jona trading for 3540. Okay, but not yet because I have a pulangan berlian of Five seven zero. So you have to do some maths here. So at first, so you put down the year three five four zero. Okay, that is on the eighth. But then, on the tenth, okay, so you pulang 
3570. Marks out how much now? After you minus. So 3540, use your calculator. 3540 minus 570. Marks out near Sekarang saya hutang Jona trading as much as 2970. So 2970 now. They say that you buy a semua hutang. So the semua hutang is the 2970. So you pay back to Jonah Trading. So here, 29, dengan, apa, dengan chat, yes, 2970. Yeah. Uh, semua hutang dengan chat kepada Jonah Trading. So just write down. Okay, then 27th, buku tunai, Debit side, okay, on 27. Okay, you menerima bayaran, same thing, penuh hutang daripada, daripada kedai fizi setara memberi discount 210. So, you beri discount 210, so discount diberi here, 210, right there. So, this is to separate uh, kedai fizi. So same thing like what you did for journal trading. So now you go to Kedai Fizi. You look for all the word Kedai Fizi. So Kedai Fizi jumlah berapa? So you got 4635. Okay. And then you have to add this 515. Unless there's a pulangan jualan. If there's a pulangan jualan, then you have to minus off. Just like your pulangan berlian, you have to minus. Alright, but he don't have pulangan, so you add up and see how much you use your calculator. 4635 minus 515. You get 4120. That is the hutang daripada fizi. But now in this question, they say that you either bury discount 210. So you have to minus the discount 210. And how much you get? So 4120 minus 210. You get 3910. So this is the jumlah bayaran penuh hutang daripada kedai fizi. And you menerima it. Okay, so since they didn't say anything, we just assume menggunakan check. Okay, usually they will say secara apa ma, but in this question, they didn't say anything. So you just write secara check lah. Okay, so you just write it. You, you add up. You add the word secara check. Okay, so 3910. Under the bank, 3910. Like that. So if you add up, you get 4120. So because here you write written down 210 for discount. So far, 6. Oh, they are got it wrongly yeah okay yeah sorry it's five four six yeah five one two zero so this should be four nine one zero right okay so four nine one zero what am i doing correctly what am i meant like five uh okay okay wait 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 let me try again. Okay. So it's actually four six three five plus five one five. Press a calculator five one five one. Five zero, okay. But then we got a discount of, hey, sorry, a discount of two hundred and ten, okay. So you minus two hundred and ten. So we get one five zero minus two one zero. You get four nine four zero. Yes, four nine four zero. Sorry for the mistake. So here is four nine four zero. Okay, thanks Eugene for the correction. Okay, then next, 28. So here I told you there are two parts to record. One is in the journal arm, and then the other one is in the uh, buku tonight. 
Okay, that's what I said just now. All right, but usually, actually, you just have to record one part. Okay, so as I said, whenever you see a check, mengenakan check, I told you, you straight away go into the book line. So same as here. So you don't have to record in general. All right, unless here they say meng. But usually no lah, okay. Let's just say mengelua um not mengelua lah, but mengambil barang atau mengambil stock untuk apa apa beribadi. Then you put in the journal up, okay? Because the dia tidak berkaitan dengan check, alright. But now since they say mengelakan check, 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 check is the keyword for the bank, alright. So you just straight away record into buku tunai. Uh, we do. All right. So here on the 28th, you click on check. So here, peribadi is a keyword for ambulance. And then since it's a check, 180. So under the bank, 180. Done. Then 29, uh, we'll go to 9. D side, debit side, why you terima, that's why it's on the debit side. So on the 29th, you terima commission. So this is, you have to phrase it as commission D terima. Okay, dengan tunai. So under tunai here, how much? 250. And then lastly, on the 31st, buku tunai, credit side, 31st, you buy a gaji pekerja. So you just write gaji. Is the term for it? Then I check thousand five hundred. That's it. Done. Okay, but not done. Done yet. So after you throw in all this thing, you have to close it. So for journal arm, you just like that. Done already. Okay, for journal Berlin, you have to draw a line. Okay, the line here. Make it nicer, okay. So here will be the last date. So the last date for January will be 31st. So here you just copy down. So this journal bullion. So here you just write you change the journal to account. So this is account bullion. And use your calculator to add up these two. You get 5816. And same goes to this one. Draw a line, then 31st, then change to uh, account, draw a line, you add them up, okay, and then lastly this one, 31st, account, pulangan, belian, then 570. Okay. But before that, okay. So this one, you go back to this Abalim. So the Berlian is actually in the Belanger side. It's on the debit side. Okay. So here. Okay. you Around this side, you bracket and put the D here. debit all right you just bracket and put the d here so same for account jaran so if account bullion is debit side account jaran is actually on the credit side so here you bracket and write k okay. so pulangan bullion same thing so if bullion is debit so pulangan is always opposite the reverse of it so you bracket K for credit. So this is how you do for this part. Okay, last one before that you go. So it is buku tunai. So you have to um close it. All right. 
Let me add a few lines. So you add up the debit and credit side and which, see which side is larger. Okay, let me show it to you. Uh, this uh, what we usually do for ledger. It's actually no difference from ledger. Okay, but still let me show how you should do it. Okay, so you just skip a line. Okay, after gaji, gaji is the lowest here, right? So you just skip one line and then for this three thing, three items, discount delivery to nine, then bank, draw the Joomla line, one line, double line for debit and credit side. Okay, so for discount delivery and discount literary, you can just straight away add up. So for discount delivery is 210, for discount literary is zero, so you just leave it blank, all right? And then now you check for 29, one by one. So debit or credit side is bigger. This is very straightforward because 29 on the credit side is 505. But on the debit side, you got a three number you add up definitely more than 505. So definitely this Joomla, you write the figure, you add up everything with a higher figure. So 2550, the Joomla on the debit side is 2550. Comparing on the credit side, 5 and 5, definitely this is bigger. So this column, we'll write back the Joomla from the debit side. So meaning this alone is 505 only. You cannot add up to this figure. Maksud, I have to add the figure. So what is the difference? You minus it. You use 2,550, the Joomla minus everything in the 29, 505. You get 2,045. So this 2,045, is your Baki BB. Oh, sorry, Baki HP, Hanta Kabawa. So same goes to your bank. So you check, is it debit or credit side bigger? So you see that it, this is 57,000. Of course, you can add up everything and then compare. But like definitely this tell you the story that this is bigger on the debit side. So you add up, use your calculator, the debit side. So here the credit side will be the same figure as well. So here this empty space will be the empty box will be the Joomla minus everything on the credit side in your bank column. And you get 52,000. 140 and this is a Baki HP. So when there is a HB, you must do a Baki BB. So the next date will be February 1st, Baki BB. This is a new month. Okay, so it's 31st January. Yima. So the next day will be February 1st, Baki BB. So what is Handa Kabawa? So Tuna you Handa Kabawa 2045 for bank you Handa Kabawa. So same figure of 52,140. That's it. Is everyone clear? Yes, please give me a C in the chat box. So this is how you do for buku cararan pertama. All right, but of course, when I'm explaining, you will take some time longer than what you ought to uh, do. But when you're doing it yourself, make sure you're doing it quick. Because like, if I want to do, if I were to do it myself, I can finish this question in fifteen minutes. Because it's very straightforward. Look, find out, write down all these things. Then I just do this thing. I don't need to explain anything. But then now I'm explaining to you one by one. That's why it took up so much time. All right. So, uh, have you guys complete both, uh, everything here? Yes. Give me a done in the chat box. Type done. D O N E done. Okay, great. So you have done already. Uh, then you may leave the class, and later I will send the homework, the, the set of question into the group and make sure you try to do it on your own and set a time for it. All right. So that's all for today. And next week, we'll start uh, do another question. And until the end of November, this is how we revise the whole thing and hope it helps. 
and take care. See you in the next class. Thank you, everyone. Bye.